today I'm with a brand new Volkswagen Passat 2024 this is the variant or estate version and in this video I want to do the consumption test this is the diesel version it comes with a 2 liter diesel engine 4 cylinders in line 150 horsepower and in this video I'm really curious to see what will be the consumption we will go a little bit on the highway we will go on the countryside roads city and so on so we will make a mix so we will see at the end of this trip what will be the consumption outside or around I think four five degrees it's quite cold it's winter and here we have 18 inch wheels winter tires that mean uh, the consumption will be a little bit higher plus this is a brand new car so under it has I think around 300 400 kilometers so under 5,000 kilometers the consumption will be higher anyway beautiful car by the way really love it if you want to see the full review and the test drive video I have some separate video with the same car so check it out let's go inside here is the start engine button and right now the engine it's on it comes with head-up display digital cockpit amazing 15 inch multimedia screen but more about that I talk in different videos so definitely check out the separate test drive video where I explain you all the driving feeling and check out the review video it's a separate video where I explain you interior exterior multimedia space everything about the car you will find out in this video because in this video I will focus on consumption so if you are in Switzerland or on Switzerland you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car go at garage Gauci in Langenthal I will leave the link in the description also on the screen so definitely check them out they are super nice the price of the car around 52,490 franc this business edition estimated consumption 5.2 liters this is something that I really want to beat in this trip so yeah let's drive the car and let's see if we can beat that but before that activate auto hold let's go to the vehicle and let's reset the consumption from down here since start reset the consumption zero you see down here and now let's drive it let's see what kind of consumption we can get to be honest I'm really enjoying it uh, the car I drive it today a lot this is the wheel to change the gears you go in reverse like that it comes with 360 degrees camera amazing cameras amazing amazing car to be honest I really really enjoy driving it I drive it a lot today so to be honest um, I like every single feature of the car and also because it's a diesel version I also enjoy it a lot I think I have such a long time from when I drive last time a diesel and now that I drive this Passat I feel like going back in time and, and enjoying because I, I own before a few years a Volkswagen Golf diesel and it was such a good car and now to be honest it's an amazing cruiser this new Passat it's really good car really amazing cruiser so definitely if you have the if you have the money for it or you're in the market definitely go and make a test drive see if you if you like the car see if you enjoy it because you might be surprised on how good it is now going downhill every single thing here inside the car feel very good quality uh, it feels even better quality than the previous version the pedal feels smooth and nice uh, the transmission the seven speed DCG transmission combined with this diesel engine feel fabulous also I'm happy that they clear out this space down here much more modern very good visibility you can see the head-up display right there it's gorgeous it's so nice it stays in the perfect perfect position so you have such a good view I have such a such a good view on the on the windscreen there it's tint it's kind of blending the window so nice also great visibility through the steering wheel in the digital screen right here actually on this version on diesel version you don't have any other options to choose the driving mode you have just one driving mode you can basically go in uh, manual mode and change the gears manually from those pedals behind the steering wheel but you don't have a, an echo normal or sport mode you just have one driving mode so 
this car doesn't come with DCC dynamic chassis control but it still uh, feel super nice and also over the bumps it feels great good comfort good suspension great visibility amazing uh, comfort on those seats I definitely have to say that I I like the car a lot it's fantastic for families because it has huge space in the back it's fantastic for driving um, at high speeds cruising speeds are incredible um, the sound insulation it's very good because it comes with double glassing so that's also nice it comes also with a lot of safety features uh, autopilot and all that features you can see you can activate basically the autopilot and you can change also the view in the front there so you can basically see the lanes the same as you see in uh, almost the same as you see in Tesla you can see the lanes you can see the car it's accelerate braking and do the job for you and I test it before I test it also on the test drive video and it was really really good I have to say that I was I was crazy surprised on how good it is now I have to go right here and the cool part is that basically the car knows that I want to go right that I have to go right and it's braking for me so how smart is that going uphill no problem the the engine it's super powerful what I noticed a little bit earlier when I drive it through the city I noticed that the car it's also very good uh, at driving in the city uh, because it's quite light the steering wheel. It's pretty light. It's pretty easy to drive. It's pretty pleasant to drive So yeah from this point of view was quite quite good Also, by the way, I forget to tell you the climatic system. It's on on level one So that's something to keep in mind. So level one climatic system on uh, This is very important for the consumption in the end And outside are seven degrees now I saw So you can set up again here you can see you can set up the um, cruise control autopilot and the car will do the job for you will stay between the lanes will accelerate will brake will do the job for you it shows you so clear the images it shows you so clear on the head-up display how it looks there the graphic and the colors and also here on the digital cockpit lovely really good system I tested before on the highway it's working great and even here it works really good on those twisty road kind of a national roads uh, really really fine stuff but yeah definitely uh, you have to hold your hands on the steering wheel for the safety purpose but um, yeah in general it works quite quite fine and they improve it a lot in the last year they call it IQ drive and Volkswagen use it on almost all new models that they come on the market these days and yeah it's it's super welcome because most of the time uh, we'll add a lot of safetyness uh, to the to the driving now press the brake we can change this view my favorite view is the with the navigation in the middle just like that also pretty clear I like the fact that they tilt this uh, multimedia to the driver and this 15 inch screen it's so big it's really huge and it's so easy to change different settings there the auto hold function they move it here on the screen so basically you have to activate it from there it's super super easy and also the screen it's very responsive so you don't have to search too much uh, you find uh, all, all you're looking for super fast and easy it's also fun to drive on those twisty roads right here it's really really fun to drive it acceleration wise pretty powerful the pedals feel great and also the brakes feel quite quite nice good stability also in curves 
very good setup to be honest surprisingly the car feel quite comfortable but in the same time the car didn't feel like a boat because they lower it a little bit lower so it stays quite good on the ground so that's very very important on this twisty road it's so fun to drive it man and it feels so smooth it feels such a good quality the sound insulation you barely hear noise from outside even from the engine inside the cabin you don't hear too much noise so insulation it's good even though it's a diesel you barely hear noise from there from that area so we have to set the speed the cool part is that once you set the speed for the cruise control the car is able to read the traffic speed limits it's able to change automatically the speed when the car sees that it's a lower speed or higher speed you can see right now it's pre-reading the speed ahead 50 it says and then it goes automatically to 50 itself without you being needed to to change this speed so that's that's quite smart it's smart because the car can read also the intersection and the roundabouts and when the car knows it comes a roundabout it will definitely slow down for you even if you're not slowing down the car will slow down for you so it's such a smart system look at this and even in the cities i noticed that even when the yeah lanes are not super clear it's still managed to stay between the lanes relatively good of course it's not perfect you have to hold your hands on the steering wheel for safety purpose but it's good it's really really good now we have a trip of around 32 minutes so then we will see uh, what will be the consumption in the end so now you can see the car it's still driving itself Yeah, we have to drive 40 there are schools around here around this town but man I, I have to say the head-up display probably one of the best on the market it's so clear and it's great that you see the speeds there you don't have to take your eyes off the road so you see the speed you see all the information you see the navigation when you have to do left um, you see also when you activate those lane assist and the speed limit so you basically with a head-up display you don't even need those screens anymore while you're driving so pff, super nice super nice Volkswagen come with this head-up display also on the electric versions and that's a super help because the electric version by for example ID7 doesn't have this digital screen here so it has a much smaller digital screen and yeah this is helpful but man it's so comfy on those seats and the car have also come also with massage seats so you can activate the massage seats you have a button basically here you saw the car read the speed that it's 60 and right now the car is going to 60 automatically without me uh, pushing the, the acceleration or stuff like that so it's a super smart cruise control and autopilot here so that's that's a great great stuff It's silent, it's great over the bumps, comfort is good, visibility is good. It feels like you're driving a premium car. It definitely feels like you're driving an expensive car. And that's really nice. It's really aimed to Audi, for example. It's kind of very similar with Audi driving feeling. It's also pretty responsive when you press the acceleration it gives you the power without any problem you can cross pass other cars easily set the speed here now to 80 the car will do the job for you again lane assist cruise control smooth and nice you see now the lanes are visible here, the car is doing a lovely job. I definitely 
love those streets look how beautiful are the streets and the the, the places here are incredible nice in switzerland so definitely if you didn't visit switzerland until today i definitely recommend you to do that it's an amazing country now it's so even the brakes it's so smooth even the transition even the gear shifter when the the gearbox is changing the gears it's doing it so smooth and so nice you can see when the car is rolling it's rolling in a in a nice smooth way So we, we are close to the highway, we will go on the highway then a little bit and then we will go back in the city and we will see the consumption. I'm really also very curious to see um, what will be the consumption. Probably we won't have too much traffic, that's for sure, but yeah, it still will be a good consumption, a good test. So now we will go out on the highway a little bit so we will drive a little bit at higher speeds so definitely i think it's the it's definitely the next yeah exit so after this big one i have to go left so around here Building up the power slowly, but nice. Shifting the gears in a nice way. Here we have 120. We can definitely hold it to 120 km per hour. So that would be fun. And that we will do it through the autopilot. You can see the car, see the cars in front. You can see it here also on the screen. Sees the lanes and keep the distance if the car in front will keep this distance it will keep this distance you will see that the car that comes on the left side you can, it sees as well on the screen how smart is that man it's and if you change the lanes check this out it's still able to see when you're changing the lane and it's activated automatically and then we'll hold the speed from the car in front and when the car in front brakes will brake or accelerate will accelerate until it's reached the speed that I set up now we are driving 120 and basically you barely feel that you feel like you're driving much lower speed because they improved the aerodynamic of the car now the drag coefficiency is 0.25 before was like 0.31 now it's much better than before and to be honest you can hear this also in the air that goes across the car you barely barely hear air around the car at this kind of speed so we have 120 sound insulation it's very good and you barely hear a little bit of wind noise from outside and also the a pillar you can see it's quite quite low 
so it's kind of a sporty design but in the same time they lowered the car so they managed to make a super nice design here uh, and also to have good good space here in the front again changing the lanes accelerate a little bit so the car it's building up power again and yeah this is this is so easy to set up the cruise control it's crazy crazy easy change here also I want to do a video in the nighttime to show you the lights the way the lights look like in the nighttime it's just phenomenal driving it in the nighttime with a head-up display all those screens and ambient light in the doors and in the dash looks so cool so check this out the car it's still stay between the lanes perfect on the highway this autopilot it's it's the same as on the Tesla it's very good really really good you basically uh, you can trust it 100% so nice look at this so good it stays really perfectly between the lanes and I like so much this view this driving view probably one of the most coolest view and one of the most clear image uh, that shows you that you are engaged with autopilot right now the autopilot is engaging uh, the car it's front it's accelerating or braking the lanes and it's so clear to see the speed I love that they bring back the physical button because it's easy to set up for example right now you just let the speed down to 100 so you drive in the speed limit and someone behind me want to drive faster I go on the side <laughs> Uh, behind here I brake a little bit so then again accelerate and cross past this car Ooh, without any problem so I have plenty plenty of power now I have to slow down a little bit because it's 80 here but again just set the, the autopilot and it will do the job for me and you can also set it from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 10, 20, 30 from here and up, down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 same as the previous versions when Volkswagen came with first time really nice stuff buttons are great so they should stay here now go here between these lanes and once you are there the car will basically see can also the cool part is that the car can read also the traffic speed limits and you don't need to always adjust the speed the car will adjust the speed for you automatically in uh, in the cruise control so that's also smart stuff that not many cars are able to do it comes with blind spot technology in the corner in the mirror there again another cool stuff now we have to go right here you can see here on navigation you can see on head-up display and again that was the nice cruise control now let's change it back to the map the map it's my favorite view just like that it looks so nice it's perfect I mean you just have to have your eyes on the road it shows you all the information in a super nice clear way I take the control of the car right now and we go out here out of the highway also stays super super nice on curves yeah they are they are a great car Volkswagen know how to do those cars those IC combustion engine cars are insanely insanely good even though they had some problems with the electric cars the internal combustion engine cars made by Volkswagen they are really good cars there are cars that you can yeah basically rely on most of them they they will last a lot of time if you know how to if you know how to take care of them and change the oil and do the service all on time the cars will be will last uh, a lot of time without any problem 
Also diesel engines usually tend to be very reliable. We will definitely miss those diesel engines in the future. And this driving feeling when you're driving a diesel. I like how smooth it is, the, the pedals. Even in roundabouts in the city, it's quite easy to drive even though it's such a long car and bright, bigger than before but it's still drive easy around. It comes with 360 degrees camera so you can see a lot of information about the car. Now it's a great test to be honest. Not too much traffic, that's not good for the test, but the good part is that we drive on the highway, we drive on the cities, so it's a great, great test to see what will be the real consumption. But another thing to point out and keep in mind is the fact that the car is brand new. So usually up to 5,000 kilometers, the consumption will be half liter to one liter higher. So that we have to keep in mind. Gear shifter in combination with the, the engine, it's so nice, so smooth. Lovely. so so it's run so smooth and nice when you drive like 50 for example the car is just so it, it like it's using just 20% of the power. It feels like it's using so so little of the of the power. Just keeping that speed, it's so easy for the engine. So guys, if you would ask me to recommend you a diesel engine, probably these these engines, these diesel engines from Volkswagen, they are one of them. You see we have 1030 kilometer range left. When I take the car today in the morning, I had like 1150 kilometers. And now after I drive so much and I do all the test drive and I just film a lot, I had to leave the engine running and so on. I still have 1030 kilometer left, so it's insane. I mean when we will see those kind of numbers on electric cars 1000 kilometer range ooh that would be that would be a big day anyway again set up here cruise control autopilot engaging it's doing the job lovely just like that
So now check it, check this out. The car read that here will come 60 and it just break itself to 60. Oh my god, from 80 to 60 it goes automatically. So nice. So so nice. Man, I was I was looking for this Volkswagen Passat in the last month a lot. And I finally find it. It's it's not easy to find it, but I finally find it and I'm able to review it and test drive it and show you more information about it and I'm so happy because I knew it's a good car and I should present you and now I'm searching for the new Tiguan so can't wait to see it and to test drive it as well I, I definitely think that would be also an amazing car based on same same idea I mean same IQ drive system autopilot will be probably the same good as this one the multimedia the same and all other stuff it's just the shape of the car and the driving feeling but other than that is for sure a great car and the sound insulation it's really good really good double glassing here over everywhere basically also on the rear double glassing everywhere so that's that's super fun um, you're probably wondering what is the consumption until now so if we go to vehicle we have 5.1 liter consumption until now guys you see the car it's slowing down to 50 automatically I didn't do anything that's so 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 useful and Tesla doesn't know to do that keep this in mind really Tesla didn't do this kind of stuff 5.1 liter consumption until now back to home it's that easy it's super easy to change this stuff here in the screen they are uh, making it much more smarter this time much shortcut up there and stuff like that it's so easy to to go to different uh, settings and I like it very much because it's also very responsive so much nicer now I mean Volkswagen come 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 slowly but steady but when they come they, they stay there really strong because you know Volkswagen it's kind of conservatory company I mean most of the time they, they make small changes but right changes reliable changes and once they learn something to do good they will do always good and the German and the Nordic countries and the Germans in general they tend to have this this kind of approach on life I mean they do something, they, they try to do the best, they try to do it perfectly, they put attention in every single detail and they go around quite slow, I mean they are not really invention, inventing stuff and stuff like that and trying new things, but once they, they learn to do something they do it really really good and that's really important because yeah, it's important to have reliable stuff, reliable things. And they work for years on those engines, on those diesel engines. They work for so many years. And once they get around it, they, they nail it to do it really good. The good part with this engine and with this car is that even when you're cruising at high speeds on the highway, 120, 130, you're still able to get good consumptions because these engines are made for being driven on the highway at high speeds and they don't struggle to keep that speed you know and with a good aerodynamic like this new Passat have you will get a very good consumption also on the highway but yeah for these kind of tests we will have to have the car and test it for 100 200 kilometers and then you can you can see a real life consumption but still 
this one it's a it's a related test so will help you a lot to understand the consumption of the car it's a pretty long video but still I hope will be useful how much time we still have yeah eight minutes we are there and eight minutes probably uh, this trip will be also like that but it's quite fun because it's a nice road you can see something until there uh, it's a beautiful places here to, to drive in so much space so comfortable being here i love how they set up this suspension and the stability of the car it stays so good on the road it doesn't feel like a boat you know it doesn't lean too much the body of the car and that's that's crazy good i like that the grip even though it's a front wheel drive it feels quite good it's gripping the ground pretty well. Too bad that when you're braking, doesn't recuperate the energy that, so you can use it later. This is, ah, this is something that I wish to have it. comes also with heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, a lot of useful uh, features on the car. It also warn you on the screen it tell you that take care it comes a yeah ahead it comes a curve that's quite big and also warn you to put your hands on the steering wheel and so on and right now you see this the system it drive itself basically and it hold it really good Now, 80 ahead, no it's 80, it's accelerate itself, it's change itself, the cruise control speed, and now it drive itself, sees ahead 60, tell me ahead it's 60, so pay attention ahead because it comes 60, and it still show me that, and you will see that the car will know when 60 come, and then it will slow down automatically right now check it out you see it's just slowing down I don't press anything it's just slow down automatically smart stuff really smart stuff at least for for those countries where the roads are really clear and nice and um, you have all these marks on the road pretty clear the those systems are so so useful and they work really good it warn you also that comes a roundabout and yeah it's so so interesting
it's so it's run so so silent basically I'm impressed on on the sound insulation now you hear the engine sometimes when you rev on you hear that roaring diesel engine and keep in mind now the car can see that it's a truck ahead that's cool now keep in mind the climatic system is on when we will check out the consumption So guys, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, if you want to see the car, test drive the car, buy the car, definitely you can come here at Garage Gauci. I recommend you because they are super nice, nice people. Sometimes they have big discounts, a lot of cars, the newest cars. They have also Skoda, Volkswagen Seat, Cupra. So definitely, definitely check them out, guys. I will leave the link in the, the description also on the screen and yeah they are they are super nice now here we have to park the car and going in reverse it's easy you just rotate this stalk the new stalk it's much nicer than before i'm so happy that volkswagen go on this road with rotating this stalk behind the steering wheel it's it's so easy it's so convenient it's so so much better press the parking and now i know you're all waiting for is the consumption numbers so check it out we go into the menu here vehicle and check out guys 5.1 liter consumption right fantastic i mean it's great consumption the way we drive of course not too much traffic that was the consumption with the diesel version of course as soon as i put my hands on the hybrid version i will test it i will review it i will give you more information also i'm curious to drive the one with the dcc dynamic chassis control so stay close if you want to see that if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check out garage gauchi in langenthal i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are super nice they will help you with everything so Thank you for watching. Don't miss out the full review with the same car. The proper test drive with the same car will be much more interesting to see those. And yeah, I guess that was the video. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.